Hello, this is Steve at GreenFuelH2O.com. It's been a while since I've made a video on hydrogen compression, and I wanted to kind of pick up where we left off, but I uh, have a really big change in the system now. Before we were using the hydro tube, you see this cell and You can see this cell in a lot of our videos. This was a really great cell. It, it, it was a alkaline electrolysis cell, which means we put KOH in the water, and that acted as the electrolyte to make the reaction happen. We have a membrane in between each one, and we separate the hydrogen and oxygen. Uh, the, in an alkaline cell, you have to use a semi-permeable membrane, or it won't work which means you have problems with oxygen breaching into the, into the hydrogen and vice versa. And you had to use a system that would keep the gases separated. When, when the gases are separated and the pressures are the same on both sides, this cell works great. We were able to get 99.98% pure um, out of this generator, running it through a purifier. But when we we're trying to make our compression system, the complexity of it made it really hard uh, to do. We could do it, but for everyday users like you guys I make these videos for, really hard to do safely. And I didn't make any more videos about compression because I was really concerned with being safe. I knew I could be safe, but I knew how to be safe. But I was concerned that the subscribers that are trying it would not be able to be safe. So we scrapped this cell. Uh, we worked on it for two or three years, got it the way we wanted it. This cell we decided it wasn't going to work. So no more hydro tube. This cell's gone. And I've been working on a new cell, and this is what I've come up with. So this is a PEM cell. This uses no KOH, no electrolyte in the water. The electrolyte that's used in this is on the membrane. So it's a it's SPE solid polymer electrolyte, which means it has a solid electrolyte that is actually on the membrane and it makes the reaction happen right on the membrane with distilled water, with pure distilled water. This cell, you can see that it has two sections. This is what I call a double cell. There's a cell on this side and a cell on this side, so each side has a positive and negative plate. So each side is going to generate hydrogen on one plate and oxygen on the other plate. Then the center section here, this is a reservoir section for the water to enter into the cell. You can see I have couple ports here. This is, a imp, this is an output port, this is the imp, water input port, the distilled water input port, and then you can see that there is a port here and a port here. This is where the oxygen, excuse me, this is where the hydrogen comes out of the cell. So we have a plate, a membrane, a solid membrane. So this is a solid non-permeable membrane so there's no way that oxygen can pass through to the hydrogen side and vice versa. So, and then you have your, your uh, negative plate, membrane, positive plate. So that, in that way, the hydrogen that comes out of this is 99.999% pure. And there's no chance of breaching, there's no chance of getting oxygen in the hydrogen. This is a very, very safe way to do compression. So this is what we come up with. This cell will generate between 0.5 and 1 liter per minute of hydrogen. And if you remember this cell in the videos, this big cell generates 1 liter per minute. Put them side by side. 
you can see the thickness of the cell. They're about the same, they're about six inches round, just like the new cell. But you can see the difference. The form factor is a lot smaller in the new cell. So this cell has four plates. This cell has, let's see, what do we have here? One, two, three. This has 16 plates and uses a lot of KOH to get one liter per minute. So the new cell will generate up to one liter per minute and I'm gonna show you that. Um, also, it does it very efficiently. So this cell has an input of five volts DC and we run it at about 20, amp, 20 to 30 amps. 20 amps, you're at about 0.6, 30 amps, you're at one liter a minute. And at one liter a minute, at its maximum, most inefficient uh, setting, it uses about 150 watts to generate one liter per minute. So, very efficient, very good cell. Okay. I'm going to turn this on. So right now we just have it hooked to a power supply, a straight power supply, so I just plug it into the wall, that turns it on. And we'll show you the performance. Okay. I'm borrowing my son's camera. He's got a lot nicer camera for his uh, YouTube channel, so he's, he's bought this for himself. He's Kindly let me use it. Okay, so we, I'll start here with the power supply. We have a, we only use Meanwell products on our power supplies. They're uh, hands down the best. Don't mess around with any of the other ones. Uh, 320 watt, five volt power supply. And you can see it's hooked up to positive and negative. It's our positive, negative side. And you can see that the hydrogen, this is our hydrogen output here. We've got a tube on both sides, one on the back there, going into a T. And the hydrogen goes up to the separator, I'll talk about it in a second. But on the oxygen side, we've got our oxygen output here. And this is our water input into the cell. Fill the distilled water here. So this is our distilled water reservoir. So just put distilled water in there, nothing else. So this is kind of like our other cells where it has a circulating system. Uh, as the oxygen travels up this tube, it creates a back pressure in the cell, which draws water into the cell, and it just kind of circulates. So up here, we have our hydrogen going into our water separator, going in here, and the hydrogen comes out here. This, uh, there's a little bit of water that comes out on the hydrogen side. This separates it out, so you just get the gas into your output hose. And right now I have it hooked up through this hose here. I have it hooked up to this set of bubblers just to show you the output. You can see it there on the first bubbler. I'll tighten that cap so now it's going to build pressure. 
Well, you can see it going into the second bubbler here. We'll wait for that to uh, pressurize. There, it started in the second one there. A little pressurize here and go into the third one. Maybe that shows you the, kind of shows you the output. Right now it's running at 27 amps. And I can raise and lower the amps by turning up the voltage, or turning down the voltage. So I'll raise these up to, to 30. I want to show you one liter per minute. I'll show you the voltage. See it's running at 4.94 4 volts. 30 amps, 30.3 amps. We've got our alley cat flow meter. I'm going to hook this output up to the flow meter. We'll take a look at the output. So we're going to be working with from here on out. I've got a couple really cool videos coming up. I have finally got my hands on a nano bubble generator. It's a well, let me show it to you. This took me quite a while to get searching everywhere for one. No one wants to sell one, but they just want to show you videos about them. 
so here it is. So this is, generates nano bubbles. And I'm going to do some videos with this. See what kind of uh, parts per million we can get of hydrogen and water. That's some video video that I want to do. Also, I want to complete my compression video series. Build a compression system with this cell, and finally get a nice, great, safe compression system that anyone can build and have it out there on YouTube and on the internet for people to replicate. So this is uh, this is the end of this video. Thank everyone for visiting my channel. If you haven't liked, please like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.